everybody's party. I'm not a huge drinker, so I was a little more, you know, calm or whatever, but everybody was faded. I know when uh, Megan is faded. I know how passionate and um, uh, animated Megan is when she's talking. And so, you know, to the party, it could have looked like something crazier. Um, with us, with us talking, it did become a lot. It did, you know, JT may have thought it was something more too when JT, because JT had ended up running over and right. kind of in between us. And you know, I don't know JT, and I, 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 I love Miami, and From I, the I city have, girls, right? Yeah, and I, I respect the city girls. I don't, I have no issues. I want people to understand this so much. I, I have no issues with no females. I don't want to have a, a war with a bunch of girls. You know, like that's not what that was. So even at the party. It was party. Me wanted to hug Megan and just be like, "Bitch, I love you." It ain't no drama. And then part of me, you know, didn't want to talk and engage a whole lot at all because there were people in the room and there were a lot of people in the room that I just didn't want to make or, or make the wrong impression of what was going on, interpretation of our conversation. And unfortunately, it did get it did get a lot more animated than I wanted it to be. And, and I woke up the next day to a damn video, you know, a viral video going yeah. viral saying JT got it. Uh, King, EJ King, <laughs> EJ King got it too with Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, it was just everywhere. So everybody was like, well, what is really going on? So we haven't, yeah. we're definitely not going to hear about it. And don't, I don't know JC. I don't know her. She, I know she's, you know, cool with Megan and I, she, maybe she thought she was coming in to, you know, help Megan out, but it, it wasn't that. I never... She didn't want to fight you, though. She JT came between us, and she kind of, like, pushed me back and was like... And she had her... She said what she said, and I was like, ma'am, I don't know. I just don't know you. I, I understand what you're doing, but that's, that's not even what this is, you know? And I try to explain to Megan at the party, like, I didn't go live to go live. I didn't go live to make this messy. I didn't go live for clout. I've been doing this 14 years. Anybody will tell you... I. I've never been in a situation for clout. I'm not going to start at 34. I don't need to start off the backs of Megan's career. That's not what that was. Unfortunately, this is a social world, so everything's become a social problem. And people are like, well, you might, you opened the gate when you came live. And I was like, yeah, but it was my truth. I never said anything bad about Megan, nor I never said anything bad, because a lot of what we're going through personally is personal and what I shared with her was a real friendship and, and real moments, but I've never bashed anybody. Since April, a lot of people have been speculating, pointing out.